Rebe. Everyone, welcome back. This is actually episode 16. We fought a little mini boss here, and I'm thinking we're getting closer to the end of this gauntlet of enemies here. I'm assuming though. So if you haven't seen the last episode, I suggest just looking at that because who freaking knows? I might actually be at the end boss here of this Black Omen, which is like the ship I would assume like where the queen is. And whatever that is, it is very scary to look at. Very odd. It's like a porcupine. Um, let's attack it and see what it does. Water Surge. Okay, Water Surge looks like it only hit Frog, which almost pretty much, you know, do a lot of damage. Half its health. Alright. Lava Spawn Needles. So noted. Very much noted. Holy crap. Okay. I very much took the L for that, guys. I didn't want to really risk it and just try to move forward from there. It turns out melee attacks is not the way to go against this thing. Let's just figure out what it's strong and weak against. This is Dark Bomb. All right. Shell counter. Okay, that does a lot of freaking damage, though. Look, you'll see me getting one shot basically there. So I can't do that again. So I'm going to have to use Arise here, which is really good ability here. And probably just cure myself because... Well, actually, no. I just realized I died. Very noted. Holy crap. Okay, I need to be careful here. This boss is nothing to be messed with, honestly. So what I can do is I can probably figure out what is this weakness to. So when I try to attack something, it just does a lot of damage to the other one. So what I'm going to do is maybe just do like something simple here. Maybe a barrier on Magus. Here, I'll use a rise on him. Okay, good. I thought it was a one-shot kill again. I was like, wait, wait a minute. Okay, I should actually use that on Cricket thinking about it now because she actually is the one that's going to probably keep our friends alive, actually. So what I'm going to do now is probably just keep up with Barrier. And hopefully Cricket doesn't die here. That'd be pretty sad if it does. Nope, she's still alive, which is good. Barrier will help a little bit, I think, here. I didn't mean to heal myself. Frog, that is. So that's fine. I have Cricket at least healing herself here. Megas is actually going to accidentally attack. Uh, this is kind of silly of me. I don't know what happened there. That was my mistake kind of thing. I don't know what happened. I'm actually kind of sad that that happened. I didn't mean to auto-attack there at all. But we're trying to learn from our mistakes here. So I'm trying to figure out what's the best procedure to do here. I watered the face instead of the shell. I'm not sure if the shell is the one that counterattacks me. I think it is actually. When I saw the little description, it says the shell attacks me. Yeah, okay. We have it there, folks. Water surge again. That's fine. Here I'm going to do barrier again on frog this time. Water talk to face. Haste cricket here. I think this is okay. I want to make sure I'm just preparing myself for anything really now that I have an idea of what this creature is really about. And the creature is very about just trying to mess me up. I'm going to hit Barry again on Magus. I don't think he had it that time because he died once there already. There. I think we're okay. I think we're doing okay. I don't know for sure yet. Frog is kind of weak here, so I'll use that. I'm going to use Haste on Frog. I don't think he has it. Oh crap, I actually autoed again. I'm doing the wrong mistake. When you press auto, it immediately does the move and you can't reflect back on it. So you'll see me autoing as Mangus here. Accidentally, of course. Oh dear me. See, that's my fault. I don't know what happened there. I don't know why it went over there and hit him. I didn't mean to. Throughout this whole gameplay, I'm actually going to not use that. And probably just be more smart about it. So when it uses this ability, at least I'll try to speed it up a little bit. But when I see Frog, you can see that his ATB or whatever you want to call it is about to be ready. If I'm autoing, it'll just immediately attack. It won't even think about it. It will just attack. So in this case, I'll just probably cure Cricket if I can here. Thankfully, it did not attack Cricket here. I'm going to start icing this guy. I'm hopefully I can do some damage here. That's good. I'm glad I iced that. That was pretty close. And then Barrier and Magus again because, yeah, I kept accidentally not using Barrier. And I kept dying. I'm going to see if I can auto attack the face. I'm not sure if auto attacking the face is going to be the right move here, but let's hope for the best here because it seems like every time I auto attack the shell, that's when it gets mad. Okay. It seems like auto attacking the shell is when it gets mad. Unfortunately, the auto attack doesn't go to the face, but instead of the shell, because we already established that if I auto attack, it attacks like I think the first thing there it sees. And unfortunately the shell is the first thing it sees, which is not a big deal. That means I'm just going to have to keep up with the moves and trying to make sure I hit the middle part here instead of the big freaking shell. That is the pretty much the whole thing almost. But as long as I keep doing damage properly and not accidentally speeding it up in case one of my other guys are ready to attack, I don't want to do that. So let's just continue doing this. All right, guys. So I'm back here again. Just trying to mess it up. There's not much to see really. I'm just keeping up with healing. Pretty much putting barriers where I can. Essentially just healing up. It's not too bad. It's not too hard. I just want to make sure that none of my guys are below like half their health. Because if that's the case, I just don't want to be that person and not heal. 
So you can see here that he's down almost frog, but I can just probably just use cure and he's good to go here. Oh, the face is gone. There you go. Very simple fight when you do it like that, instead of hitting the shell and hoping for the best. Never again, guys. Just hold off when you're fighting boss battles sometimes. Alright, so I healed up. I used a shelter just to make sure I'm topped off. I don't see any chests in here. I'm not sure what is going on here. Oh, I see. Okay, I didn't even notice that there was enemies here. I keep forgetting that sometimes the enemies are like the walls. It's kind of weird how this game works. Like, it just seems like their enemies are just like somewhat guardians that are just chilling in the walls. Let's just do AoE abilities that will do a lot of damage, hopefully. And hopefully, Cricket didn't accidentally auto attack. I don't think she did because she's still holding on to her ETB. Frog will do his thing. I'm waiting for Cricket's turn. Okay, there we go. Finally. Jeez. They don't like uh, letting me go. They're taking their sweet time doing their abilities. So I'm going to speed it up, obviously, because I'm not going to wait for them to use their abilities here. It shouldn't take that much longer, I would imagine, because I think if one or two of them use their abilities here, they should be gone at least. Some of them at least will be gone here. Or all five of them will be gone here. Wow. 4,000 XP for that? That's pretty good, actually. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm not going to bother using a shelter. We just came back. Oh, my gosh. Um, Hello? That's fire. That's cricket. That is iRobo. That is Sammy. That is Frog. And that is Aya. All that's missing is Megus. Not the queen. Hello, my queen. How are you? I know what you have seen. It is your futures that slumber in this hall. Destiny in its essential form. All the dreams that might have been. All the happiness and sorrow you might have known. Your tomorrow as it has been witnessed. The Black Omen transcends time and space, drifting through the all and nothing, waiting for Lavos to awaken. Destiny has led you here, and here you shall remain, unless you can defeat me and bring down the Omen. There is no future for you. Why? Come children, Lavos slumbers, I will guide you into the depths of this dream. Did I say dream? I meant of course this eternal nightmare. Alright, round two. What she does is actually she reduces all her HP below, well actually not below, just one. So what I'm going to do is try to heal quickly with Frog. And you'll see that she'll do an ability there, but it's not going to kill me. But at the same time, I'm trying to kill this thing as quickly as I can before she takes this all out. There's an ability that she uses, and I think it's after this one, you'll see. That will take me all out. I'm trying to see how much health she does. So in this attempt, I might die. But I'm trying to see if she's just low on health and that we can take her out quickly. I'm not sure. It, it would be kind of weird if we could take it out quickly, though, because she is kind of like a little bit of a boss here right now. But I'm not too concerned. If he just drops it by one health, what I'm going to do is just try to keep two of us up at all times and just auto attack quickly. So that's fine. Cricket's just going to do an attack here. I'm just going to let them all attack. I think that's the best way to go. And then keep reviving as we go. We have a lot of reviving items, actually. We have actually too many Athenian waters. So that's the plan, at least, because it's going to keep reducing our health to one at least. And then, well, from there, we can just do a lot of damage. And thankfully, two of our guys are pretty much strong with the melee, so... It makes no sense not to just auto attack here. Wow, she uses it again. I'm actually surprised. I thought she was going to use an ability to kill us one shot, basically. Come on. I don't expect the queen to have a lot of health, actually. It makes no sense. Like, at least for me, because, yeah, she is a boss. But if she keeps doing this, it's going to be an easy way to really stop her. It's not that hard, really. It's just making sure to keep everyone up and keep auto attacking. Halation reducing HP to one. That's fine. I'm assuming the thing behind her will just probably wake up and then attack us all of a sudden. That would be pretty much my nightmare though right now because this ability that she keeps reducing our HP to 1 is not helping us at all. It's actually really annoying. So <laughs> hopefully that's not the case. And hopefully we're going to take her out quickly. I don't expect to be much longer, I don't assume. Because we're just autoing and we're pretty much hitting this thing for a lot. And yeah, the most annoying part is just waiting for her to make a move. We're just hitting it, right? Very, very quick. Who's going to attack? Of course, Magus, the one person that I actually wanted to stay alive. Because Magus does a lot of damage, right? All right, easy, obtain Mega Elixir. Ah, oh, my powers don't seem to work here. Ah, but I have a better idea. I can feed you to the Mema Machine. You'll be made one with the Omen, Lavos and me. She's actually crazy. And this is why I'm worst nightmare, but who knows if she combines the two. If she combines the uh, Halvation, whatever that ability was that reduces us to one HP. Uh, let's heal quickly. I need to actually heal everyone quickly. Mega Elixir, let's go. Let's see what the weakness of this is. There's one ability only, and let's just make sure we're all like kind of topped off. So haste here. I want to see what that does. Uh, attack, sacrifice to increase defense. Okay, so defense is being increased here, which I think that's okay here. 
I actually don't know what the right moves are because I think it's best to have a less attack. I don't know what the thing is. I really don't know. So right now I'm just playing around and seeing what it is that we can do with this thing. So I'm just trying to do different things. I'm throwing barriers. I'm throwing haste. I think they stack, if I'm not mistaken, magic, sacrifice to increase. Okay, I see how it is. So let's just keep doing that. Let's just make it confused. And then let's just hope for the best. Um, Cricket. How much damage did that do? Brock took the worst out of all that. I'm not sure why, but maybe because the man machine remains still. That's fine. What does this do? This is a lot of damage. That's for damn sure. Barrier on Cricket. I should have used on Frog here, but that's fine. Let's just heal AoE. Ice. And then Barrier. Barrier Frog. And I think we're okay now. I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing right or wrong. I'm just making sure I'm just not going to be in a bad position when I'm trying to fight this thing. Because, yeah, the last thing you want is thing just to beat me up and just make it worse for me. I'm going to use Dark Bomb here. I'm not sure what it is right now. Point Flare. It's going on Frog only. Which I'm completely fine. I'm not sure if this could do a lot of damage because magic and attack, that does a freaking ton of damage. What the frig? Um, I'm actually going to do probably Cure 2 on Frog because I just saw a lot of damage happen there. And just keep up with this. I'm not sure how much health this thing has, but we hit it for a lot already and I'm assuming it has a lot more health than the Queen at least. But at this point, I'm just going to hit it as long as I don't get hurt a lot. As long as it just stays put like that, I'm, I didn't mean to use that with Frog. Just a habit, I guess. As long as we keep this up. We're doing a lot of damage. The thing is hitting Frog, basically, which I'm okay with. But you know how it is. I'm not sure if the attack will be a lot now. I'm going to attack here. I'm trying to keep it like... I don't know how it is because it keeps shifting between defense, between attack, and between magic. You don't want one that's stronger than the other, I'm assuming. So I'm just going to keep attacking with Frog and the others will do their thing. Restored stored energy. Releases stored energy. Are we all gonna die? No, but we're pretty damn close to. Holy crap. Okay. One second, one second, one second, one second. I didn't mean to use Mega Elixir again there, but it kind of worked because our MP was pretty damn low actually for Megas. So this kind of worked to my favor, I think. I'm not quite sure. So here I'm probably actually use Cure on Megas. I'm just to make sure he's topped off. I'm not sure how much damage this will be. Probably still a thousand. Yep. Rain still, cure on Magus. It was kind of overkill there, but who cares? We want to just make sure we can do as much damage as we can here. And I'm assuming we're doing a lot. Like, I'm not sure how much health. Tens of thousands, I'm assuming, but it's getting closer, I'm imagining. Wait. Did I BS this fight? There was no way that was that easy. I find that I kind of, like, was so fast that it couldn't stop. And it just kept staying still. At least that's how I interpreted it. That was way too quick. Phase one of two? Hello? The queen, I don't count as a phase. The queen was just doing her thing. That was way too easy. Something else is going to happen, though. Let's be honest. I don't know how games are sometimes, but let's be honest. Like, we're still kind of, like, in a fighting area. Yeah, pretty much. I knew it. Phase one of two. We kind of saw this, in, I think, in episode 14, the very beginning, when we walked into the omen. That was, like, the first thing it showed us. I had a feeling that wasn't the end. There was no way. All right, queen, what's up? You maggots. I am the queen who shall rule for the all eternity at Lavo's side. You will not stand in my way. Fool, no thing, no life can last forever. You are deceived, a pitiful plight, one deserving of mercy at least. I will put an end to all of this. A cruised prophet, do not think I have forgotten your transgression at the Ocean Palace. You shall pay for it now with your life. Is she gonna go hard on us? Is she gonna pop off now? All right, let's go. Kind of nervous though. Okay, very nervous now. What the frick? I told you it was not like... Let's be honest, that could be like phase one of two. Attack the hands first. All I know is in games like these, you want to attack hands. Counters MP Buster, which is not what I wanted. MP Buster is actually like... Okay. That's a kick in the face. All right, so that did that. Let's see what happens if I attack instead. I want to be careful here. I kind of want to put haste on frog. As you can see here, I'm not going fast with my abilities. Life Shaver. High potion? Yeah, definitely high potion. Holy crap. You saw me like instantly wait. I'm like, wait a minute. How much damage is that? A lot of damage. Okay, so I did that. Turns out magic didn't work. Um. All right, let's attack here. I'm just trying to figure out what is the right here and what is wrong. Okay, so every time we do something, it just does a lot of freaking damage, which is kind of annoying. Let's use magic on the right hand then. I'm just trying to figure it out. I don't want to attack the middle. Oh, we do want to attack the middle, maybe. Unless Starburst is like a one-shot kill here. No, it's not. Pretty much, it could be. 
Alright, so what I'm going to do is actually attack the face. I just realized we do a lot of damage to the face and we don't get countered at all. So I'm going to go on a full on blitz again on the face. The hands do provide a lot of annoyances, but let's see how much we can like survive. I don't know if this is the right way of doing this, but I'm just going to continue moving like this and hope for the best because... Well, to be frank with you guys, I just don't want to die. I don't know if we'll reset back here or we have to fight the other guys again because I'm not sure how these games work sometimes, but you have to be careful not to... Try to push yourself, essentially, because you want to be careful. And if you have to restart from a different point, because sometimes when you die, you can actually reset from the last, I guess, entrance you came from. But I don't want to die, so let's just be careful, right? Let's just play it by ear. Maybe aerial strike this instead. Um, I think we're good with everyone else. I'm just going to use ice here. I'm going to keep an eye on MP because Magus does a lot of freaking damage with the uh, Dark Bomb. So let's keep that up, obviously. He does like twice the damage, right? So I want to be careful. I'm just looking at the hands too. I'm not sure what the hands provide, but the hands do a lot of like whatever it's doing right there. So I'm just being sure I'm not like kind of overdoing it, being overzealous with the stuff. I'm not trying to use a lot of the Mega Elixir. The Mega Elixir is very, very convenient, but it's like one of those things where you use for like full heal your troops, full MP your troops. I know I'm calling them troops, but you know what I mean, right? Like you don't want to always use it and just expect that it will be the lifesaver because obviously if you want to use it, you're more than happy to do that. But yeah, you're going to be costing an arm and a leg to get one of those even find them alone were really hard. I don't even know how I got my hands on a few of them already because I guess I just don't use them. I'm using Cure 2 here. It's probably an overkill, but just in case they didn't heal up fully before. Continue with this. Hope for the best. Oh, I already see that. Heal immediately. Probably Cure actually just her because I'm trying to figure out what the right move is. Mega Elixir here would actually not be bad, but I don't think we get one-shotted by these things yet. So let's just keep up with this. And hope that we can kill this quickly because I don't want to die. Does that take out all of it? Yeah, it does. Okay, that's fine. I think we'll be able to heal everyone here now because I just healed up everyone properly. I'm using a lot of high potions here. I should be using actually probably not high potions. Is it taking all my MP? No, okay. I didn't see what it was doing there actually. If Mega's MP is depleted, that sucks because he actually is doing a lot of freaking damage right now. More damage than I needed, but hey, damage is damage. I'm assuming this thing has a lot of health, by the way. More health than I want to fight, really. Dark Bomb. Wow, he's getting hit twice by the Heavenly Gate. God damn. Let's go with that. Hopefully this is a lot of damage. Another 10k. Excuse me, another k. If it was 10k, the thing will be down by now. Okay, that's good. I'm glad that at least Frog knows how to do a lot of damage. Like, if the Frog didn't have a lot of freaking damage when using melee attacks, that would suck. Again, I'm trying to keep up with what's going on. What's that do again? Oh, is that an MP stealer? No, it's not. Okay. I'm just making sure we're not all like looking low. We're pretty good with health, actually. Everyone's pretty damn high up there. And we're doing a lot of damage to this thing. It hasn't really done that Heavenly Gate or Stardust, whatever that thing was. Or decreasing... Okay, there we go. Well, not Stardust, but Starburst. Starburst hurts all of us, actually. This doesn't reduce everyone to zero. That's the thing. Um, keep doing Dark Bomb. What I want is actually... I do have uh, mid potions. I should start using mid potions instead of doing that. But I'll keep using, like, Cure, for example, here. Oh, the hands are gone. What the frick? That was it? Man, Mangus is a freaking cheat code. I swear to God. How dare you vermin hound my steps? Oh, mighty Lavos, lend me your power. Bro, is there phase four? What the frick? What's gonna happen now? Like, Lavos is chilling whatever time zone Lavos is in. I don't want to be dealing with phase four. I'm feeling very confident right now. You never know, I might actually die sooner than later. <laughs> At last, Lavo stirs. Before him, you are a grist before the wheel, but I, I shall attain immortality. Oh. Okay, she's gone. Do you think she sacrificed herself to Lavos to, you know, potentially put us away? The thing is, in this game, is just super random because it seems like the queen just got corrupted. Oh no, this is the Lavos fight. I'm not ready for the Lavos fight. This is definitely the Lavos fight. Oh, crap. This is the Lavos fight? Last time I checked, the Lavos is the last boss of this game. Maybe I'm wrong. It might not be the last boss, but like I know that you could have... Oh, my gosh. Thank gosh we're not in auto mode, but I kind of wish we can actually... Yeah, enter attack mode for damn sure. What the frick? Last time I checked, actually, Lavos, what it does, it like captures the enemies. Can I back off? All right, well, frig it. Let's attack it. I healed up a little bit. I'm good to go. I think I'm gonna attack actually probably the left hand. 
Yeah, okay, so if you're not mistaken, guys, I remember we fought this creature a while ago. And by I say a while ago, that robot, you can see like before we fought this thing, there was a cutscene to fight this thing. It's retaking what I call, I think if I recall correctly, these monsters. And I think I want to attack actually the arms first because I think the arms actually does damage. It's kind of weird to say, but I think it will just mimic exactly how the enemy was. Which means that, if I'm not mistaken, that enemy that we talked before, the enemy was doing a lot of damage. Okay, so this one in particular, I kind of remember it. It does a face. So I'm going to wait a little bit. I don't know how it is. So I'm going to try once. And correct me if I'm wrong here. It's going to counterattack me, I think. So I'm not sure. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'm trying to see what the right move is here. Or was it that... Yeah, okay, the Nerland Cyclone was actually the thing that did a lot of damage. You know what? Needless to say, actually, this is probably going to be an easy fight because I just realized that this is just enemies with the exact same health as last time. So it's going to take, like, no time at all. Water 2 won't do much damage. Like, this thing should go down pretty quickly, actually, right here. Actually, let's just melee attack it to death. It will go down eventually. Oh, what? Now it's doing this thing. Now it's going to the thing where it's like, it had to show a different face in order for it to stop doing that. So the mouth is open, meaning that we shouldn't be attacking it. One second. I think it's a disengage. Maybe I misread that. One second. This should kill it then, if anything. The thing is, it actually has a lot of health. Maybe I'm very much mistaken with this thing. Come on, take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out. There you go. So now we have to indicate what this one is. Last time I checked, this enemy was not even that hard. We fought it before. It has two parts, I think, to it. So meaning that it has like two body parts to attack. I'm not concerned, we can just keep attacking it. Okay, that kind of sucks. <laughs> We do have quite a bit of MP stuff to help our guys out, but I don't want to be worried about that part because I know that, if I'm not mistaken, it does a lot, like taking MP from us. I don't remember what the weakness of this creature is. I'm just gonna attack it though. All right, that was an easy one. Like, I'm just double checking, like if the fights are more recent, like, I don't know, if I see something that I just fought not that long ago, I will not go in like going crazy, you know what I mean? Like, this shouldn't hurt. Because these enemies we fought before, I guess this enemy in particular, it is not that good to just start auto-attacking it. Probably is one of those creatures that takes a lot more damage from... I was going to say from melee. Okay. Is it one of those creatures that we just have to hit for the life of us and hope for the best? One second. Maybe I'm mistaking something here. You know, thinking about it now, maybe this creature was one of those creatures that if you use lightning, it will, like, stun it. Because there was a creature that if you use lightning, it will stun it and then the defense will decrease. Unfortunately, I don't have lightning. Maybe here I can just start being like smart and just throwing like mid ether on Magus' way. And try to figure out if maybe lightning is the right one to go. I'm going to double check if lightning is the right way. You never know. I was right. Perfect. Okay. Thankfully, my brain is working there. I get it now. Unfortunately, we only had Lightning 2 there, and Lightning 2 does cost a lot of MP to use, but whatever. We'll just auto-attack it now to death. I think it should go down now. Electric Discharge. I'm not sure if that means it's back to being strong. Yep. Back to the grind of using Lightning 2. A lot of freaking MP. Makes me think I should start throwing this thing with um, reducing MP usage, because I think I have an accessory that can reduce MP consumption by 50%. Almost feel like I should do that, but depending on the fights, maybe I should be more smart about that. We're against Magus itself, which is pretty funny. I don't remember how Magus played out, but we're gonna auto attack it and hope for the best. Barrier change. Thankfully, the damage is the same as when we were fighting them before. I don't like it when you fight creatures and it's like they're really strong, but we could probably just use a lot of this stuff. Is it gonna heal? Okay, I was gonna say, is it gonna heal now? Dark Bomb is a lot of damage, so hopefully it does actually hurt instead of heal. Never mind. F my life. Holy crap, I'm so bad at this game. Okay, seems like Laos is actually attacking us now, which is kind of weird. Sorry, for the longest time I was healing it and it was kind of annoying. Okay, thank gosh, that was kind of annoying. What is it going to go towards now? <laughs> this one was a while. I don't remember how strong this creature was, but it wasn't that bad. You can see that there's like, they're mimicking the creature on the left there. I shouldn't be attacking the creature, I should be attacking what's in front of it, which is this sucker here. At least that's how I remember, at least we just attack it and then it goes down quickly. What the frick? Should be a lot of damage, okay. 
That shouldn't be a lot of damage either. Yeah, their attack is just mimic from the previous fights we fought them before. It's very, very simple if that's the case. If that's the case, I'm just going to go hard on the attack here and just hopefully this all does damage. Probably destroys the thing that's still left there very, very fast if I'm not mistaken. It doesn't have a lot of health. It should be down here, yeah. Now we can go on a full on blitz, I think, on this thing. All right, there's another one down. I don't know if it goes through every single boss that we have fought, but if that's the case, that's kind of insane. All right, I'm just gonna keep going with the onslaught here. I'm not sure like what's the right move here. I remember we had to take down the arms first in this game because this one was actually really, really annoying. So you can see that it's just doing like a big move right away and like that would actually hurt my team a lot back in the day, I would say. <laughs> Even though this feels like a couple of days ago, but it was kind of a pain in the butt. I'm not sure if this is a lot of damage right off the bat, but I know if I had to take down the stuff on the sides first, it's gonna be easy sailings from there on out, I think. I think this should actually take them out. Surprisingly enough, it didn't, which is kind of insane. Yeah, we want to take out that thing quickly. I'm actually quite shocked they didn't go down there. There we go. That makes more sense to me. All right, they're back, which means I just go crazy and I just start using AOE abilities because the thing on the right one, it actually heals up and, well, I don't want that to happen. I think I could take down the middle one actually doing this too, or that works too. It's not happy with us, that's for damn sure. We're taking out all the bosses and he's like yelling at us like, stop, please, stop. All right, what's up? Are we fighting now Lavos itself? That'd be nice if we actually fought Lavos instead of having to fight all those other bosses. And I think it's the case actually now. As you can see, the Lavos is not like mimicking another person here, at least to what I can see. All right, I think Cricket's confused here. So what I'm going to do is quickly actually use Panacea here. I kind of got lucky and I saw that happening before. Cricket might be dead here. She is dead here. Kind of sucks because Cricket is actually the one thing I don't want to die. You'll notice that she has abilities that will be like insanely good for us, right? And I want to make sure that we're kind of like in a good spot when this happens. I'm going to use a Mega Elixir when she shows up. It's kind of maybe a waste, but maybe I just want to be careful not to kill everyone off right away. I just want us to all be strong and ready to go. Ready to rock and roll, essentially, is what I'm trying to say. Barrier on Cricket probably quickly here. If I can land that fast, that'll be nice. Uh, aerial attack. I'm probably holding off on this here. Probably... There you go. I'm playing it smart. I just want to make sure that we're all kind of like ready to roll here. So this could be good barrier here. Barrier on Magus itself. Heal everyone like an AoE. It doesn't cure all the way, but it's pretty good to heal. But I'm going to make sure Cricket's topped off here. Cricket is like the more important one in my opinion. It kind of feels weird saying that because... At the end of the day, they're all like really important, but if she can heal, if she has an ability that can heal you from 0 to 100 real quick. Yeah, you don't want to mess with that. That's like really important in these games. I hope that doesn't kill actually. I'm not sure. I'm going to actually hold off on using anything else. There you go. Yeah, that sucks. It used the same ability twice there very, very fast. What I'm going to try to do is hopefully I can heal up quickly. Damn, that was the second time in a row. Very, very unlucky. I don't know if that's like probably a thing that happens in this game often. It just keeps repeating the same ability. I should have actually held off from doing that. Okay, Lavos is no joke. I'm not going to lie. Every time he uses like an AoE ability or something like this that's a lot of freaking damage, it's important that I want to keep my guys up as much as I can. I think... I'm pretty sure Magus is going down here. So thank gosh. Like I said, Cricket's still chilling, right? And if Cricket's still chilling, it's not bad for me because I can use this ability and this ability heals from full, which is in my opinion, so freaking broken. I gave Cricket haste, which is perfect in my case because I want to make sure she's still alive. And then I realized her health is really low and then she dies. Yeah, I didn't even notice her health being that low. It's kind of embarrassing, I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully that we're both okay here. Speed it up a little bit. Thank gosh, Frog is not confused. I'm gonna heal Cricket if I can quickly here. Maybe if Cricket haste again here, just, I gotta make sure she's this really fast because she needs to be like on top of her game. It's really hard to keep everyone up in the float. I'm going to have to cure Cricket here. I know it's kind of weird, but Cricket does take a lot more damage. Although I see Magus' help is pretty damn low, but like I said, she can revive from zero, which I think is more important here. Just to keep everyone like going, I think I'm actually good here with Magus, so I'm going to actually just heal up. Instead of having used Arise, just heal him. He's still going to be chilling after that, exactly, and he's going to do a lot of damage with his AoE ability here. Is that it? That can't be it, though. That was really easy. I'm not going to lie. No, that's not it. Unbelievable! Be wary, the end is yet far. These blades are about its armor, but what we need to destroy lies within. Are you serious? How many phases are there? Like six phases? Are you serious, game? 
Thank gosh there's a little area to save. Are you kidding me? That's what I needed. That's what I wanted. Heck yeah. I'm pretty deep. This is a dreadful place. Even more ghastly than Magus Keep. There is no turning back now. I mean, there is. You can go through here if I really, really wanted to. Guys, what I'm going to do is actually call it a video here. And when I get back, I'm probably going to go and quickly get out of here because I think I can with this and buy some more items. Just make sure I'm topped off as much as I can. I have a lot of freaking gills. You can see bottom left. 222,377. Yeah, I got to buy some stuff. Guys, I'll catch you in the next one. I do appreciate you guys who watched this whole thing. And until then, I'll catch you in the next one, everyone. Bye. Ribbit.